Welcome to RS3 version 2, tutorial 7. In part 2 of this tutorial, we will demonstrate some of the consolidation analysis features of RS3 version 2. Here, we will stage multiple layers of embankment on multiple layers of soil created using boreholes. Before starting this tutorial, ensure you have completed part 1, found here. We will begin by defining the soil layers below the embankment. To do this, we need to open the Borehole Manager tool. Select the Borehole Manager icon. Click the Add Borehole icon and add three boreholes. For the first borehole, add three layers below. Set the first material to sand fill with a thickness of 15. Set the second to silty sand with a thickness of 20. Set the third to dense silty sand with a thickness of 0. And set the fourth to silty clay with a thickness of 5. Leave the location at 0, 0, 0. For the remaining boreholes, input data as follows. Click OK once completed. To complete the model, select Geometry, 3D Boolean, and select Divide All Geometry. Now, ensure that all bodies are assigned the role of geology, and that all embankments have been assigned the role of embankment by ensuring that they are purple in the viewport. To simulate the creation of the embankment, we will need to stage the embankment. Ensure that Stage 1 is active. In the Visibility pane, select all four embankment bodies, and in the Properties pane, change the applied property to No Material. Select Stage 2, and select only the bottom embankment body, and set the applied property to Embankment Fill. In Stage 3, select the second from the bottom embankment body, and set the applied property to Embankment Fill. In Stage 4, select the second from the top embankment body, and set the applied property to Embankment Fill. In Stage 5, select the final embankment body and set the applied property to Embankment Fill. To assign the groundwater boundary conditions, select the Groundwater Workflow tab. Ensure Stage 1 is selected, then enable Faces Selection from the toolbar. Hold the Control key and select the faces shown. Select Groundwater Add Groundwater Boundary Conditions. Open the Groundwater Properties dialog. Set the name to TH negative 10.5 and set the type to total head. Change the total head value to negative 10.5. Click OK. Next, select the Loads Workflow tab to edit the loading conditions. Select the Field Stress icon. Set the Field Stress type to Gravity and set K1 to 3. Click OK to close the dialog. Select the top embankment face, then select the Add Loads icon. Set the magnitude to 5 and install at stage 5. Click Apply. We will now move on to the Restraints Workflow tab to assign restraints to the external boundary of the model. Using Faces Selection, select the faces as shown. Select the Restrain X icon. Click Apply. Next, select the following faces. Select the Restrain Y icon, then press Apply. Activate Edge Selection, then in the Visibility pane, hide all restraints and boreholes. Select the vertical edges as shown. Select the Restrain XY icon and press Apply. Once again, activate Face Selection. Select the bottom face and select the Restrain XYZ icon. Press Apply. In order to compute the results of our model, we will first need to generate a mesh. Select the Mesh Workflow tab. Select the Mesh Settings icon. Set the element type to 4 noted tetrahedral and change the mesh gradation to uniform. Set the mesh density to medium and click OK. Select the mesh icon to mesh the model. Next, we will move on to the Compute Workflow tab to compute the results of our model. First, save the model by clicking File and Save. Next, save the compute file by clicking File, Save Compute File. Select Compute. Once computation is completed, the Compute dialog will close. Now, to view the results, select the Results Workflow tab. First, refresh the results using the Refresh Results icon. In the Results drop-down menus, ensure Solids is selected. To begin viewing results, add an XZ contour plane by selecting the XZ plane icon. Click OK. To view pressure head results, change the data type to Pressure Head. Select the Contour Options icon. Set the custom range from 0 to 35. Click OK. Deselect the mesh in the visibility pane to better view results. Cycle through stage tabs 1 to 6 to view pressure head changes. Stages 6 and beyond all yield similar results. 
change the data type to excess pore water pressure. Once again, select the contour options icon. Set the custom range from negative 95 to 47. Click OK. Cycle through stages 1 to 7 to view changes in excess pore water pressure. Stages 7 and beyond all yield similar results. Finally, to view the settlement, change the data type to Z displacement. We want to see the vertical displacement under the embankment, so we will define a query point to gather data. Select the Add Line Query icon. Set the origin coordinates to 53, 25, negative 9, then press Enter. Set the UV coordinates to 0, 0, then press Enter. Click the blue check mark to close the pane. Select Polyline 1 results from the Visibility pane and select Interpret Export Query Data. This provides a CSV file with the settlement results of the model available to view. This concludes the Embankment Consolidation Tutorial. Click here for more details or here for more tutorials.